Hey, what's up and welcome back to another episode of Something Fishy. Today we're gonna be fishing Stenson Beach and doing a little camping tonight. Uh, yeah, hey, you know what? I wanna tell you guys about something. So, I have a Gregory backpack here. This is one I just got as a replacement for the one I was using on the last couple videos. The one I had was called the Gregory Palisade. I paid about $500 for it about 16 years ago. And just the bottom here, was kind of uh, fading away and showing the mesh material because it was like rubberized. It was kind of coming apart. And so I called the company and I asked them, is there like a coating that I can purchase from them to replace it or something like that? And he says, hey man, send me some pictures of your backpack and we'll get back to you. I sent them the pictures. They said that my backpack was under a 100% lifetime warranty. So he asked me what backpack they have in their new lineup that I would like to replace it with. And they gave me a choice of like four backpacks that were kind of similar and their largest ones, cause that one was an 80. They uh, gave me all the sizes for the, I think it was 75 is their biggest. And uh, I kind of uh, wanted a little bit smaller ones. So I got the 65, I believe. So here's my brand new backpack as a replacement. And I still have the old backpack. And then I found out that all I gotta do is use a flex seal on the bottom to fix it. So now I have an 80 and a 65. So awesome. Great company. This is Gregory Backpacks. Definitely, if you're in the market for a backpack, check out Gregory. With a lifetime warranty. And they also have like, uh, hit bags, regular like school backpacks and stuff like that. It's a great backpack. And the new technology they have uh, in this one is just amazing. Lots of pivot points and stuff. This was very comfortable. Adjustable. I can do the Velcro right here and pull this up, push this down, get that adjustment from there to there. I can do the same for the straps on the side. So as before they had uh, you had to like go in and get it fitted to you then they would like strap you up with the same or like the right size for you uh but this one is primo right here this one was like 400 and something dollars i still am a little bit shocked that they sent it to me for free they paid for the shipping and everything so definitely definitely recommend gregory backpacks all right so if you haven't already please subscribe let's get to fishing all right, we're geared up, ready to go. Got my rods. Came out here, put together. So I came out here like three weeks ago, two weeks ago. I was maybe here for, I don't know, an hour. I set up my rods, I was washing my hands off and one of my rods got hit really hard. My line was getting pulled out because I set the drag pretty loose uh, when, I'm, when my poles are just sitting there. I ran over to my uh, rod I was running over to my rod and I kicked a tree that was in the surf. I didn't see it. And I just about broke my toe. <laughs> it still is a little bit swollen, but you know, I'll live. So that's why, oh, I ended up just going straight home. It was in so much pain. I couldn't even, I could barely walk around out here. I maybe lasted another half an hour. Short story is though, I, you know, I never, I didn't catch that fish. When I went to set the hook, uh, it tore like a six inch big hammer swim bait and hat, like just the head was left over. So I'm assuming it was probably a halibut because those big hammers, I don't, I don't, I'm pretty sure a perch didn't do that. Maybe it was, but I think the odds of it being a perch was pretty slim. I didn't check the tide at all on the way out here, but this looks like the only spot that has any deep water at all. The rest of it's pretty shallow. It's like really low tide. Hope it's coming in. That looks pretty good right there. Nice and choppy. Looking decent. Looks like there's a trough running through the middle. Kind of see it a bit.
All right, first cast. Pretty close. Just hold on to it for a second here. See how the tide's acting with that one ounce weight. I might have to switch to the two ounce. I feel like it's pulling out. That's better than pushing in. We just got some bites. Pretty good bites right there. It was like tug 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 tug. It wasn't very surf perchy. Got a lot of debris on my line as well. Let's see if there's any evidence of anything. Nothing looks hit or tore or pulled. Both those are really strong baits though. So we're gonna cast in the same spot. So there is fish out here today. Took all day just about. Wow. They're pretty good eating. Really? It's not a huge one, but it's food. Yeah. At least you still got something. Yeah. Alright, we got not too shabby. See I only got about an hour and a half before the bus to go to camp. My motorcycle is still broken, so been doing it like this taking the bus out here it is real slow today the other four or five people I've talked to haven't caught anything and I caught one maybe I had a handful of bites the tide is on the way in hopefully it will pick up a little bit We got sand crabs on this one, sandworms on the other rig. It's starting to come in pretty quick. I have to keep moving back every uh, like 10 minutes so my rods will stay stable. There's these guys all over the beach. The like Vala Vala or something like that. I'll have to look up the name. like a little sail little thing there's a bunch there's one there's one there's one there's another one everywhere right there all right so we made it to camp this is a good one i like this one this is campsite five at pantol campground beautiful everything's nice and green birds are going off and it's got a nice level place to sleep on yeah, yeah. all right so it looks like I'm just gonna do one day of camping and fishing I was going to do two days, but there's an opening in a RC rock crawling tournament that I'm going to be able to join. So I'm definitely going to do that on Sunday. And so I got to get a bunch of stuff done Saturday. So yeah, just one day of fishing. We didn't do that good. 
but you know no one did so as far as i know i'm the only person that caught a fish out of like the seven eight people that i fished around today so it is what it is it ain't a huge one but it'll do it'll uh make our dinner a little more enjoyable all right, so. all right we got our fish on the barbecue all seasoned up and sliced i know it's small that's what we got <laughs> these other campers are chaos over here we got screaming and kids crying and dogs barking but we got our fishes done I really do love barbecuing the whole thing at once get so much more meat out of it instead of filleting it nice and seasoned up eating with the chopsticks hell yeah Steaming. Mm -hmm. It was pretty damn good. Alright, I'm gonna finish eating this up. Oh, here they go. They're getting crazy. All right, so while we're here, we might as well check out some of the trails. I've been wanting to drive the RC car out here, the RC crawler. And uh, I think some of these trails would be really nice. Ooh, there's already a really good line. There's not very many loops out here on these trails. It's a lot of one way to a destination so it'll be one of those walk down at a mile come back a mile deals but i'm loving this terrain this looks awesome Ooh, look at this beautiful root structure that's gonna be a fun little trail oh yeah Look at that. That's amazing. Very technical. This would be a great FPV. Definitely have to mount a camera on the crawler. Get some onboard action. Oh, look at that. Looks like a perfect little, little crawl right there. <laughs> Wow, this is some beautiful trails. Here's some water running. Oh, it's through a culvert. <laughs> That's all right. Ooh. This is getting that like Jurassic Park feeling. Oh, I like that. Lots of mosses and ferns everywhere and roots coming out of the ground. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, a little shroomy. What's that little mushroom? Very cool. I think that's the first mushroom I've seen out here. It is the first mushroom I've seen out here. Awesome. All right, so that wraps up this fishing trip and camping. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.